If you've ever seen The Simpsons, you know Krusty the Clown. He's this boozy, larger-than-life kids cartoon show host who happens to be inspired by a real-life clown from Portland. Well, except all that depressed drunk stuff. His name was James Allen, but to Portlanders, he's better known as Rusty Nance. Rusty hosted children's shows in the Portland area for 16 years. He entertained a generation of baby boomers with performances, songs, and cartoons, which he'd bring to life in interesting ways. One of his frequent guests was fellow Oregonian Mel Blanc, the voice of Bugs Bunny. Rusty's show made an impression on a young Portlander named Matt Groening. He later said, Rusty was very nice, a very sweet clown, but he had that name, Rusty Nails, which I found incredibly disturbing as a child because, you know, you're supposed to avoid Rusty Nails. Groening said Rusty was nothing like the depressed, degenerate Krusty. After Rusty's show ended, his local celebrity status grew. He could be found performing in grocery stores, thanks to his sponsorship with Alpen Rose. Rusty Nails was also a regular at the Rose Festival and county fairs around the region. He also took his act to Sunday schools and Bible studies. He was an ordained Baptist minister. James Allen, a.k.a. Rusty Nails, would have been 89 years old this week. It's strange his legacy is intertwined with the bitter Krusty the Clown. Unlike Krusty, Rusty Nails was loved by his community and not just his TV audience.